Hi, I'm Jack Hayes, and today we're going to talk about differentiating yourself on paper. Too many times I've seen great candidates not even get an interview because their resume doesn't clearly convey how great they are. So today I'm going to give you eight tips, and I call it eight to make you great. So tip number one, you want to make sure that your resume is at the top of the pile. If your resume has an objective at top, delete it. Uh, re objective takes up too much valuable real estate, and it simply is self-serving, and it doesn't convey your skill set. So replace it with a skill summary, uh, a bulleted list of accomplishments and skills that are relevant to the position. Uh, tip number two, uh, for each of your projects, list the most relevant skills first, uh, relevant as to how they pertain to this job. I can't tell you how many times I've looked at a resume and something that's very critically important to the client is buried deep in there. If it can get missed, it will get missed. Don't let it happen to you. Uh, number three, remove or simplify any extraneous uh, positions. No one cares if you're a cashier in high school. Uh, if it's not relevant to the position you're applying for, just delete it. Uh, number four, make sure that any quantifiable accomplishments are actually quantified. How many people did you work with on the project? How many hospitals did you implement? Uh, how many um, um, uh, people were on your team? How many people were you in charge of? Um, that's important. It really gets a, the, the customer a good sense of what you've done. Um, and always tell your resume for the position. This is tip number five. You want to make sure that uh, anything that's important is highlighted and put front and center. Uh, number six, remove any vague titles from past positions. List your skill sets and make sure that in those skills, um, the interviewer can decide for yourself what title they are. If you're applying for an executive level position and you were a junior um, executive prior to that, don't list your title, especially for technical positions. Um, this is really important. Let your skills speak for themselves and let the client decide how you fit, um, how good a fit you are for the position. Uh, tip number seven, make each bullet point crystal clear. Describing what you did on a project or in your last position in paragraph style is really tedious. People are burning through 20, 30 resumes here in just a few, res in a few minutes and having them have to read in detail each line uh, is gonna move you to the bottom of the pile. Um, last tip number eight, resume length. If you had a long and storied career and want to list out all your accomplishments and they're relevant, try to keep it to three pages. Uh, one page for a person with 15 years of experience is probably selling yourself short. Two seems to be the sweet spot, so um, uh, use your judgment and make sure that uh, you're, not, you're writing a, a large tome. Um, so those are my eight tips for making it great. We'll be back next time. My name is Jack Hayes, and good luck.